Hello everyone, this is the Motion Nerd right here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to do the counter effect in the easiest way possible using After Effects in this custom made script that is called Counter Pro. Let's dive into this script and take a look at the properties and the options it provides. So we have this field for the prefix, which is any symbol or anything you can put before the text or before the uh, counter effect. The suffix is the same thing, but it's self-explanatory, so it means anything that comes after the numbers or that you're actually having. The decimals is the number of decimal decimal numbers. So if you if you have two, you will have two digits after the comma. If you have zero, then you will have no numbers at all. The start value and the end value, if you want to animate anything to animate like the counter effect going from zero to three hundred and twenty-three point zero seven that I have already uh, put here. It will animate it, but make sure you have the animate values checkbox checked, so it does animate. It will give you two keyframes uh, separated by 10 frames. So let's give it a try and let's try it. So whatever we put here, let's just put zero, why not? And uh, let's just go ahead, center this one. If you want to have a prefix right here, uh, just put a percent the decimals we can just put one here to animate the numbers we're gonna go 123.5 if we apply this we will have this going from zero which we have here the start value to the end value which is 123.5 and one thing good about this script right here is that it can actually uh, you can edit the, the thing that you have already put already, so it's uh, it's not destructive at all. So we can still put a uh, another suffix right here, let's just put P, I don't know why, but let's make sure we take uh, animate values off, so we can just change the prefix or the suffix, but if we want to have another animation from the numbers, we want to go, we want it to go from, sorry, to go from this to another number, from the second one and just put whatever you want if you don't want to put any decimals then it's it's all right so once we do that this is what we're gonna get but just remember that you can't actually change the decimals because the decimal is not interchanged between the animations the animate values only animates the start and the end value and this is all for this video. If you want to download this script, you will find it in the description below. And if you have any question, make sure to hit me up on Instagram. That's where I'm mostly uh, available, either on my personal Instagram, which is at anasuxilvi triple i, or the Motion Nerd X. See you next time.